Roy, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Anybody else ready? We'll now call this meeting to order for Monday, August 13th, 2012. And our invitation tonight is uh, Chief Reinhardt, if you don't mind giving our invitation for the Chief. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we just thank you tonight for all your blessings upon the city and this community. We ask that you go with our leaders tonight, let them make the wise decisions to be in your will. We ask for the safety of our employees and of all of our citizens here in Florida. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Chief. Roll call, Mr. West. Mayor Max A. Townsend. Here. Councilmember Andy Page. Here. Councilmember Johnny Good. Here. Council President Garland Gettner Jr. Here. President Pro Tem Jenny Bolson. Here. Councilmember Glenn Hollingsworth. With the record reflection, Mr. Hollingsworth is finishing or hopefully finishing his adoption in Haiti. And that he'll be back hopefully soon. He'll be back tomorrow. He actually got to meet with the president of Haiti today. And uh, him and two other couples from here in Coleman and the president said, consider the paperwork signing. <laughs> That's good. It's been a long process for Next is the reading of the minutes from July 23rd, 2012. What is the pleasure of the council? Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion that we suspend the rules. Second. I have a motion and a second. Let's call the council. Council Member Andy Page. Aye. Council Member Johnny Cook. Aye. Council President Don Gettin' Jr. Aye. President Cook and Jenny Bolson. Aye. Now at this time we'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes from July 23rd, 2012. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the minutes as written. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed? It was passed. Now, any additions or deletions to the agenda tonight? Having none, we'll move for our reports of our standing committees. Police Committee, Councilmember Andy Page. No report. There's no report from Fire. Sanitation Committee, Councilmember Johnny Cook. No report. Street Committee, he is absent tonight. Finance Committee, Councilmember Jeannie Colson. I do have a, a very brief summary for the third quarter of the fiscal year, which was from uh, was April, May, and June of this past uh, year. Uh, just to compare the uh, revenues and expenses to one year ago, we had some good news that sales tax uh, increased by 10%. Um, hopefully more people are shopping local and we do have the additional alcohol revenues. The building permits were up 23% compared to a year ago, which um, I think some are still rebuilding from the uh, tornado, but we're seeing a lot of new construction, which is uh, adding to this. So overall, we have had um, a total increase of revenues of 12% compared to the third quarter of last year. But we've also had uh, some capital outlay improvements that were uh, some were unexpected and some uh, that we have had a 9% increase in uh, expenses. So overall, our local economy is, is continuing on the upturn. We hope that continues as we go into the last uh, quarter of the fiscal year. And we are very uh, fortunate in Coleman to have the fourth lowest unemployment rate in the state for the month of June, which was 7.6%. So we want to uh, thank the residents of Coleman to continue uh, shopping locally. It helps support our schools. It improves your roads and streets, provides police and fire protection improvements for us, and funds our parking recreation. So. Overall, it's um, a good report. That's just a summary. If anyone wants additional detail, come to see Wes Moore in, in City Hall over here, and he can give you a, bit, a better breakdown if you'd like to see that. After four years, it's nice to give a good report. Yes. <laughs> uh, next on the agenda is a report from our mayor, Mayor Max A. Townsend. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we have some distinguished guests here tonight from Coleman High School, the freshman class. And I think that they're here to learn something about government and how your city council and mayor work together. And who knows, but there may be a future leader sitting out there among that group. Would uh, Mr. Will Rainey like to say something or introduce the students? Yes. Um, I'm Will Rainey, freshman class president from Comet High School, and we are here representing the SGA. And we um, attended this city council meeting tonight to broaden our senses and knowledge on how 
the local government level works. And also, we're trying to be leaders in our school and community, so we wanted to see how um, leaders um, act and work so that we can learn from that and apply that and um, help our freshman class master. Okay, yes, and um, this is Shelby Shable. She's a representative of Madison representative. And in the back row, we have Nikki Rakestraw, representative, Grace Minkowski, secretary, and Taya Ponder, representative. And just a few of us cannot be here tonight, but we wanted to come and just learn about how everything works. This oh, and um, this is Keith Rickford, representative, um, Mr. Cochran. That's all right. Thank y'all for being here, and we think we've got a great school system, and we're proud of our school system. Y'all continue to keep our school system one of the best in the state. Thank you. Thank y'all for being here. Mr. Will, I'm going to say one thing. I think from the mayor and the council, the best way to, to be the best leader you can is to listen to the people that are there every day. And this group of guys and ladies right over here running the city, we've got the easy job being up here most of the time. But the people that work for you, you need to appreciate them. And, and listen to it every day. So if you really want to be a leader, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. I'm glad, <coughs> glad y'all are here. Thank y'all for being here. And thank you, superintendents, and everyone that's over here, and assistant chief. Thank y'all for being here. All right, next on the agenda is comments from anyone that is not on the agenda. So if you're not on the agenda and would like to speak, please come forward. We'll give you three minutes if you'd like to. Having none, we'll move into petitions, applications, complaints, appeals, and communications. Number one is a request from Coleman High School Cross Country Booster Club for a race permit and to close Stadium Drive from Oak Drive to Honey Drive Northeast, October 13, 2012, from 7 a.m. until noon for the cross country race. Chief and Chief, you're all aware of this, I take it? Mr. President, this is something that we've done in the past. All right, annual event. It's nice to have everybody come in. It's a pleasure of the council. Make a motion to approve the request. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? <clears throat> request is granted. Number two on the agenda is a request from Ms. Sue Turner of Coleman Life Chain for a permit to hold the ninth annual Life Chain along Highway 31 and Highway 278 on, on Saturday, October 27th. 2012 from noon until 3 p.m. Again, Chief and Chief are aware of this, I assume. Mr. President, we've never had any problems or, or conflicts with this event. <clears throat> and Mayor, you good? Fine. All right. It's a pleasure of the council. Maybe a prayer. Second. With a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? That has been granted. Number three is a request from Mr. Stuart Goldsby. He's not here, so we can always ask for his gun when he comes in here. But uh, for a permit to hold the annual youth dove hunt on September 8, 2012 at Experiment Station Road. Again, this is an annual event, just like the uh, first two that we looked at. What's the pleasure of the council on this event? I move approve this request. I have a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? <clears throat> that is also granted. Check your mic. Okay. All right, number four is a request from the Coleman City Board, <coughs> excuse me, School Board, to rezone two parcels. I'm going to say those numbers on Stadium Drive from Residential Bash 3 to B2. We're going to refer this to the Planning Commission. Is that right, Mr. Roy? Yes. So there's no action taken on that tonight. Uh, number five is a request from the city of Pullman to rezone a parcel on Stadium Drive from R3 to B2 also. That's also going to be sent to Mr. Rick Fulmer, Planning Commission. Uh, so there'll be no action taken on that. Number six is a request from the Sanitation Superintendent, Mr. Larry Jones, to purchase a dump truck in the amount of $73,000 from the state bid list at a 5% reduced cost until August 31st, 2012. And Larry's land truck is in the, from the 1980s. Is that right, Larry? Yes. We figured it's got about 10 or 15 more years in it before we have granted this for you, so. 
Well, it's a pleasure to counsel on that. I make a motion to approve the request. I second. I have a motion to approve and a second. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Number seven is a request from the communication workers of America for a permit to protest by picketing AT&T at Mitchell Road and 4th Avenue Southeast from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday, beginning on August 6th through the end of the CWA strike. Before we get into discussion, Chief, did they talk to you about this? No, sir. Mr. Uh, Mayor, did they come to you at all? No. Mayor, you want to make a recommendation? Do we need to let them talk to Chief before? I, I, I think that would be a good idea to talk to both Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, I'd also like to request the uh, city attorney review any stipulations that we uh, place for them uh, in this protest. I don't think so. I don't believe there is either. Start. It says August 6th, and not have a contract negotiated, but we don't know. But at the same time, I think they need to go through you guys before we. Mm -hmm. So is that pending? Is that the wordage that we need? The words we need to use. Well, we must get a recommendation on this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They might have already had a negotiation on the contract, but they're going to be on the city's property right away or the land. What do we need to do from here? This date, this date is already passed. If we ran this, they wouldn't be able to do it this weekend. All right. It's a pleasure of the council. Motion to the table. Second. Do you have a motion to the table? I have a second. Any further discussion? Have any money? All in favor? Please say aye. 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 All opposed? That is the table. Uh, number eight is a request from Assistant Police Chief Craig Green. Purchase camera lens from B and H photo in the budgeted amount of one thousand one hundred thirty-five dollars. Again, that's a budgeted amount. It's a pleasure of the count. Thank you, Craig. Second. Have a motion and second for the discussion. Having none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 No opposed. Next is a request from Mr. Brad Hitson of the Thomas Center Development to annex lot number one, phase two of Crest Park subdivision into the city limits of Coleman, Alabama. Yeah, Mr. Fulmer, I believe that's coming to here. Is that correct, Planning Commission? Yes, sir. All right, so there's no action taken tonight. Uh, petition number 10 is a request from Kenneth Lawrence, second of 403 North Avenue to annex his property on 3rd Street, southeast, into the city limits of Coleman. Again, that's going to be coming to you, Mr. Fulmer. So there's no action taken tonight. Number 11 is a request from Logan's Roadhouse on Highway 157 with a favorable recommendation from the Alcohol Review Committee for restaurants, retail, liquor, and draft. What is the pleasure of the council? Motion to approve. Second. With a motion to approve the second. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? That's approved. Number 12 is a request from Dollar General Store number 44. On 2131 First Avenue Southwest, again, a favorable recommendation from the ARC for alcohol license of off premise consumption. It's a pleasure of counsel. Thank you, Mr. Craig, for the request. Second. A motion to approve and a second from uh, Councilman Page for beer and wine off premises. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? That carries. Uh, petition 13 is also from Dollar General, store number 2190 at Town Square Southwest, with favorable recommendation. I imagine, Wes, all of these are the same, beer and wine off-premise? Yes, sir. All right. It's a pleasure to counsel. Thank you. Approved. Second. All in favor? Please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Uh, number 14 is request from Dollar General, number 6623 store, located at 801 2nd Avenue South, uh, Northwest. Favorable recommendation from the ARC for off-premise consumption. What's the pleasure of the council? Make a motion to approve the request. 
Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Request from Dollar General Store number 9500, located at 1208 4th Street Southwest, with a favorable recommendation. It's a pleasure of the council. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Please say aye. Aye. All opposed? It also carries number 16, a request from Brown and Company Beverages on Highway 157 Northwest with a favorable recommendation. And this is for beer and wine off premises. Also, what's the pleasure of the council? Motion approved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 No opposed. <clears throat> All right, moving into our agenda of resolutions, ordinances, orders, and other business. Resolution number one, which is resolution 2012-120, is to award bid for fuel at the airport to Perry Brothers Aviation Fuels for the lowest responsible bidder, which was significantly lower. What's the pleasure of the council mm -hmm. on accepting this bid? I make a motion to accept this bid. Second. A motion to say any further discussion? Having none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Uh, resolution number two, 2012-121, is to enter into an agreement with the state of Alabama for two pedestrian signal heads located at Highway 278 at 1st Avenue Southeast, and then Highway 278 at 2nd Avenue Southeast, and then Highway 278 at 3rd Avenue Southeast, and 4th Avenue Southeast. Motion to adopt. We have a motion to adopt. We have a second. Second. Wes, do we have a cost on this? Do they ever send us what this will be? I know we need it for public safety, but at the same time, do we have a cost? Well, Larry, you may know Jeff Adams had it. Is that here? No, Jeff's not here. I would like to have a soft cost on it. I know. This is, this is actually. Start the recording. This is actually the pretty work of the state. State. Yeah. Tell Jeff if you don't mind to get us a call to know what our portion of this will be. Uh, having that pending, I imagine. Uh, a motion that we got a motion in. We got a first and second. A big one. Yes, we did. All right. What's the pleasure of the council then? If you're in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? And then also it carries. Resolution number three, 2012-122, has an enter an agreement with Tech Lanes for security upgrade. I believe Mr. West was telling us beforehand, this is a, for um, our firewall. You bring it up to date, is that correct? The police still in the South Florida the Police Fire Department are gonna be running. This is, brings us up to the security settings we have to work with the, the FBI and it's- The uh, Siege of South Alabama Criminal Justice Information System and the NCIC, the National Justice Information Center. To have access to their database, we've got to have a firewall and secure it once we receive it. It's fourteen thousand three hundred twenty-one dollars. Is it budgeted, or are we getting that from where? We are going to do it. We have that budget. All right, we don't have to amend, so it's a budgeted item. What's the pleasure of the council? Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Any further discussion? Is is this a reoccurring cost? No, no, sir. It's just one time uh, software. Is this going to allow access for fire and police or just police? Just police. Okay. Is there anything that we need to do as far as that, Chief Ryan Arn, or do we need that information? We won't need that information, but we are working with the facility to get some software in to allow us to use it. Too. All right. If we need to do it, let's do it and get it at the same time. Any other discussion? Thanks, Chief Copa. Um, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? That carries. Resolution number four, 2012-123 is to enter into an agreement with Gilbert Mills and Kaywood for professional services for the acquisition of quarry property adjacent to the airport uh, for the amount of 27500 Jenny. Is, is, I think the city's portion would be half of that, and the county would be also paying half. Is that correct, Bob? Yes, it is. Um, okay. This is for the extension of the property for the What's the pleasure of the council and then start adopting this resolution? Motion to adopt. 
Second, a motion to adopt and a second. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? It also carries resolution number five is 2012-124. It's to grant a tax abatement for Rayhaw properties. It's the pleasure of the council on adopting this resolution. We we'll make a motion to adopt this resolution. Second. We have a second. Any further discussion? I'd like to add that this is uh, in lieu, this is because of a $17 million investment by Rayhaw, and that when we uh, grant tax abatements, we never abate the education tax. Any further discussion? Having none, all in favor of adopting this resolution, please say aye. 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 All opposed? That is adopted. Resolution number six is resolution 2012-125. is to also grant a tax abatement for Ray Hall Automotive, LLC. Do we have a motion to adopt? I make a motion to adopt this resolution. We have a motion to adopt. Do we have a second? Any further discussion? Again, I'd like to add that this is uh, because of a $72 million investment that, that, that Ray Howard is making in our city. And no school tax was abated on this one yet. Right. Having said that, um, all in favor of adopting this resolution, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Uh, resolution number 7, 2012-126, is to award emergency quotes to remove debris from Eight Mile Creek to Reeves and Son, which is the lowest responsible bidder of $14,500. This is on the south side of the 278 bridge. Mayor, is that right? It would be on the east side. On the east side? No, I'm, I'm south sorry. South side. Southwest. Okay. Southwest side. What's the pleasure of the council in adopting this resolution? Motion to adopt. A motion to adopt from Councilman Page. Second. Second from Mr. Cook. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? That has been adopted. Resolution number eight is to appoint election officials for the August 28th election and October 9th runoff municipal election if necessary. And we've got the list of the people on the screen for each beat, each box, and at the different locations. What is the pleasure of the council on adopting this resolution? Motion to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt and second any further discussion. Having none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? That has been adopted. Number nine is an ordinance 2012-15 to rezone two tracts of property located on Continent Road northeast from R1 to R2. I believe the only action we need tonight is to set a public hearing for this. Which is September 10th. All right, we'll just do that at the beginning of the meeting at 7 o'clock. Our normally scheduled meeting. And we'll do have a first reading at, at that time. Uh, next is board appointments. Is there any board appointments? Have we none? Last but not least, we'd like to thank our guests for being here tonight. Thank y'all for coming. And again, thanks to all everybody that's our superintendents that are working. I appreciate everything y'all do. And this council and mayor does. Um, that means that. Motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. And we have a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 We're adjourned. Aye. Aye.